I thought to myself, there must be more than willpower to this. And there is more than willpower to this. The difference between sex and masturbation is your head. It's your mind that is deceived by masturbation. You see, when you masturbate, you usually either let your mind be shaped or deluded into thinking it is in a certain position, or you're putting it there voluntarily. So either you're watching porn, and that porn then tells your brain he is having sex right now, and then your dick gets hard, and then you jerk off until you come. Or you think about a girl from class, or a girl that you know, or whatever, that turns you on. And then you do the same thing. You stroke your dick until you come and you have that nice, satisfying feeling of ejaculation without needing to walk up to a woman, without needing to have a girlfriend. When you have sex, it's fundamentally different. You have a woman in front of you and you put your dick inside her and you ejaculate and you had sex with that woman. Now the difference is that your brain is deceived by masturbation. Your brain ha has two sides to it. And if, and, and, and the, the, the one part is that old brain, it's the caveman brain, I'm gonna to refer to it as the caveman brain because it's the part of the brain that hasn't developed since our caveman times. The new brain, however, that has been developed in the last 20 to 30 years is the new brain. I'm going to call it the new brain <laughs> because that's what it is. And you have to imagine the old brain controls your hormones. It controls cholesterol and testosterone and all these things. And your new brain wants to be realistic. Your new brain is the nerd. The old brain is the chat that can actually do things. The new brain can only say things. The difference is that the, the, the sort of words that the old brain talks, you cannot hear because it's subconscious. And the words that your new brain says, you can hear because it is conscious. You can't generate them, but it's those random couple of thoughts that bubble up into your brain. That's your new brain. And when one part of your brain thinks about something, something different, then the other part of the brain, there is then an argument inside of your brain. And how this looks is the following. Let's say you're watching porn. And your old brain says, okay, this guy is having sex right now because it doesn't understand that you are watching porn. It doesn't know what a mobile phone is. It thinks that you are having sex right now. And that's the part of your brain that makes you ejaculate and blah, 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 blah. That part of the brain is the reason why masturbation works. Without that part, with that part being conscious, masturbation simply would not work because that's the part you are deceiving. And then that part releases all the, all the hormones that you would produce during sex, testosterone, adrenaline, uh, nitric oxide to get your dick hard, all these things, it produces these hormones and your new brain says, hold up, why are you producing these hormones? And your old brain then says, well, because he's having sex. And your new brain then says, no, he, this is porn. He's jerking off to his phone. There's some girl that's probably getting raped. She's probably sub 16 if we're all honest. And she's getting raped by 15 black dudes right now. Do you think this is sex? And your old brain is like, yes. <laughs> and therefore, there is an argument in your head. And at some point, it will mess with your mental health. Because like I said in the beginning, you can only hear, you can only understand the conscious part of your brain. You can only hear the part of your brain, the new part, right? And the new part will at some point say, he's a fucking loser, look at him. Look at him, he's watching porn in his bedroom while his family is healthy and happy together. He's a loser, and this is what you hear. 
And this is the first reason masturbation is different than sex. Because after sex, you don't have these thoughts, don't you? You don't think you're a loser because your old brain is not deceived. Because your old brain says you're having sex and your new brain also says you're having sex. Now, that's only the first couple minutes after masturbation. Why do you not have energy if you masturbate? It's because of sleep. It might seem far-fetched to you, but it is sleep. This argument doesn't stop when you go to sleep. It continues on and on and on and on and on. And the more you watch porn, the more you deceive your brain, the harder those arguments are going to be. And what will happen is you will basically lose REM sleep, the deepest form of sleep. You might get be it be able to dream and even sleep deeply, but all the phases are going to be manipulated into being slightly less effective, which is going to be lead to less sleep. I am sure that if we tested, if porn watchers have poorer sleep quality, it would be a clear yes. Make the experiments yourself, put on porn and jerk off to that porn right before bed or don't jerk off. I don't know. Don't jerk off. You don't want to hurt your no fab streak. So you watch porn right before bedtime and then you try to go to sleep. You are maybe going to fall asleep, but you are going to be way more groggy in the morning. And if you do it for long enough, you will start to see these effects. You might not see it after one day, but after a couple of days, you might see it. Because this argument is essentially like two people arguing in your room. Could you sleep? I'm just, I'm just asking you this question. I don't know if this ever happened to you. Could you sleep if your parents were shouting and arguing in your room? No, you couldn't even sleep if they were arguing in the room next to you. So how could you sleep if two people argue inside of your head? How could you do that? Not at all. And this is why your sleep quality is poor. And because your sleep quality is poor, your social abilities go down. This is scientifically proven that if you deprive any animal of a REM sleep, because all animals have that, it has less ability to connect socially, to find a mate and to reproduce. How about that? This is the reason women are unattracted to you if you watch porn. It's not because you have less testosterone. It's also an effect of it. But it's not the cause. Many people try to tell you these days, you have low testosterone, this is why you watch porn. No, you have bad mental health because you live in a society that is feminine and that promotes femininity and, fe and feminism and toxic feminism. And this is why you have bad mental health as a man. And this is why you watch porn. This is why you feel lonely. Or this is why you feel lonely. This is why you watch porn. Because if you are a masculine man, you either break or you get shot at, right? Because society, they want to be, they want you to be feminine because to operate in a nine to five job, you need to be slightly feminine. You need to be feminine to submit to your boss. If someone submits to you, be damn sure that they're more feminine than you or that they're trying to fuck you over. So we need a feminine society for the systems that are in place to, to supply the economic, to supply the economics and blah, 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 to work. So they made society more feminine with estrogenics and all of this. Then society as a whole is more, more feminine. And if you're not feminine, which many boys aren't because their testosterone spikes during puberty. Have you ever thought about why boys start watching porn during puberty? Because their testosterone ramps up, they become more masculine. Society then tries to throttle them and the boys that don't want to break. And no boy wants to break. No boy wants to fucking clean the dishes. No boy wants to do that. 
and then society tells them they're bad and they tell the parents, leave the kid alone if it's that way. And then the kid is alone and then it gets bad mental health because he's lonely and then he watches porn and then his social abilities go down further and then he's even more alone and so on and on and on and on and on. And then his testosterone is lowered and then his life is ruined. They ruin your life. And again, Porn is not the, the reason it is like that. I just explained to you the whole cycle. The problem we have is that there is no space where masculine men can be masculine in public. The chances you get to be masculine are very, very few. And if you are aware of this, if you are aware of masculine energy like I am, you will see that masculine energy is unpresent in most places where you will go to. Right? Your sleep is messed up because of porn and the next day you will have less testosterone because you've had bad sleep. Will you, will you wake up after two hours of real deep sleep, of the sleep you need to recover? Will you wake up after that and jump out of bed and run to the gym and rip some weight off the floor? Of course you won't because your testosterone is in the fucking basement, not on the roof. It's in the basement because you didn't have enough sleep and you didn't get enough sleep because your brain was arguing against itself. But don't be dismayed. Don't be angry or you can be angry. You should be angry. You should be angry, but don't be dismayed. Don't be the guy who's demotivated from this, but be the guy who says, fuck this, I'm gonna break this system. As soon as I found out about all these systems in place to basically enslave everyone, I wasn't like, mom, help me, I'm a little sorry boy. I was like, let me fuck this up, let me, let me ruin their plan. And the best and fastest way you can do this is through the way of self-improvement and God. And this is what I teach on this channel. I teach the way of God and I teach self-improvement. And this is your call to click on this video right here. And in that video, I talk about everything that I know about sleep. If you liked the video, it would be a great pleasure to me if you would help me to reach my goal of one subscriber a day. It would also be very cool for me if you could write a comment and tell me what I can improve about the video or the things that you liked. You know, praise always works better than condemnation. So if you liked something, just write it there. Likes are pretty much useless to me. I don't think that likes mean that much to me. They might mean something to the algorithm. Yeah, help your brother today. And may God protect you on your journey.